What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the bell and buy my soul time. Oh, my God. My cat's going crazy this morning. Um, if you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future content. Just saying. Just saying, saying. This is a weekly reading, week three, for the sign of Cancer. This could resonate if you have Cancer in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. I got one channeled in as I was meditating on your week three of November 2021's reading. And the message I received was two steps ahead. So you could be two steps ahead about person, place, family, or situation, or someone you're connected to. There's some kind of two steps ahead energy. However that resonates in your life, if it does. Um... Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to um, book a personal, it's $100 for, for 15 minutes. I do it on Google Duo, so we can chat. You can ask as many questions as you want, if you want. Uh, if I get channeled in, I share them. So just let everybody know. All right. King of Wands upright, the world upright. A particular cancer is about to create tower moments for many people for some these tower moments are going to be very positive for some they're going to be very negative power play moves coming piscean energy tauren energy leo energy scorpio energy okay there you go piscean tauren leo scorpio piscean tauren leo scorpio um and sagittarius Inside, okay, so Piscean, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Sag. A lot of signs in here, Cancer. You have to plug yourself in wherever you fit if you do fit in here with these signs Piscean, Taurin, Leo, Cancer, Scorpio. They can have any of those in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter. I heard for some of you guys, you're gonna, you're gonna create, you're gonna have the power play moves. So you're gonna create power play moves for some. Now, towers can be positive or negative, um, but it's a life altering event. It's either going to be positive or negative for these people. But you are the power play mover in this situation. You're going to create the tower moment. So either positive or negative for these people. For some, it could be one person you're dealing with. For some, it could be two or more in the universe. For some, it could be a positive. For some, it could be negative. For some, it could be all negative. For some, it could be all positive. You plug it in how it resonates, but you are power play mover in this situation. If this resonates with you. For some, I feel you could be um, positions of authority. Um, I do. For some, I feel you can be positions of authority. I exact, that's exactly what I feel for some of you guys. And I'm just being serious. For some, you could be spouses or baby mamas or baby daddies or exes. Um, for some, you could be family members for some other situations. Um, but you plug in and how it resonates. King of Wands upright, the world upright. A cancer knows their spouse really wants a divorce. They have been holding on for a long time, but they're about to give it to them. Have really changed their perspective on things. Okay, well, there you go. Well, you go with your bad self. You go with your bad self. So if this resonates with you, I heard your, can uh, your partner, your spouse, masculine or femme spouse, you can be masculine or femme. I heard they've wanted a divorce for a long time. But um, some of you, you probably refused to sign the divorce papers. I heard you didn't want to give it to them. But your perspective has changed on things. So you're seeing things from a different perspective. For some, I feel your money could have gotten a lot better or your confidence could have got a lot better. Something's gotten a lot better for you to make your perspective change is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I heard you're about to give it to them. And absolutely, you should never force anybody into anything um, because it just makes people miserable makes people stuck and miserable and um it creates toxicity so i know it hurt it probably hurt but it sounds like you've healed you've healed you're done your shadow work and absolutely freaking lutely man the best way the best revenge is releasing them and being happy in your life a cancer is having a huge wake-up call okay i heard a cancer is having a huge wake-up call it could be about that about something in your personal life your professional life however that resonates but you're having a huge wake-up call about something but it's true releasing them and being happy is the best form of revenge 
It really is. Because when they see you happy, they get pissed because they know of what they were missing. And that's the truth. Because you're doing well in your life. And they know they had it good with you. And they release you. Um, and that's just the truth. But that's the, that's the choice, free will choice they made is what I'm trying to say. So being happy and moving on is the best form of revenge. Just saying. So you're about to give the divorce. Cycles changing. You're going to create. And for some, that could be a telling moment. For some, that could be a telling moment you're about to create is giving this person a divorce. I think they're going to be surprised for some of them. And I'm serious. So cycles changing. The desire, drive, and motivation. This could be your energy. For some, I feel it's the spouse's energy of wanting to get the divorce and you've been holding, holding, holding on. You didn't want to do it. For some, but you're about to transmute it. And for some, it's going to be you, desire, drive, and motivation to get her done. And it's going to shock the hell out of them, I feel, which is going to create cycles to move forward. I feel you've done your healing and your shadow work. You go through bad self. For some, you can be masculine. For some, you can be femme. You plug it in, how it resonates. But lots of desire, drive, and motivation on your part now and part, part of part, uh, part of part, obviously, to get the divorce which is going to call cycles to move very fast. Spare messages you have for sign of cancer. The tower reversed, nine of wands reversed. A very significant car accident is about to be very significant in a cancer's life. For some, no insurance. For some, negative altercation with the officer. Oh my goodness. Whoa, cancer. You plug it in how it resonates. Dear God Almighty. So um, if it's not you, Cancer, it could be another Cancer you're connected to. I just want to make that clear, okay? There's millions and billions of people in the world. So for some, it could, it doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody you're connected to. But however it resonates, I heard a very significant motor vehicle accident. It's about to be very significant in one Cancer's life. For some of you guys, um, it, like I said, it could be you or somebody you're connected to. But some kind of negative altercation with the officer. So um, they're going to, I mean some kind of negative altercation. I don't know if it's going to result in arrest. I didn't hear that. For some, it could. For some, it just could be some other kind of negative altercation. However, that resonates. For some, um, no insurance, which is going to create the negative altercation for you, probably a ticket or other series of chain events. However, that resonates, if that resonates for you. But it's a life-altering event. You knew it was coming. I think with the, um, maybe you sense the negative energy on the officer with the negative altercation. For some, they could have been out of line, possibly. I don't know. I mean, you know, everybody's situation is different. There's good cops in the world. There's bad cops. And that's just the truth. Um, I feel for some, you could have been sensing it, negative energy from this officer. And you knew trouble was going to brew. And it did. For some, this could be the no insurance. You knew it was coming, which is going to create a tower. A lot of tower moment energy in here. Some you're creating. Some it's going to be created on you. Um, if this resonates with you. Um, which is going to leave your cycle stuck. So it's going to leave your cycle stuck. It's going to leave you energetically stuck because no insurance for some and some negative altercation with the officer. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates with you. For some, you could be dealing with Scorpio. Maybe Scorpio's an officer or, um, or you're dealing with Scorpio in some shape, form, or fashion. If that resonates, because this is Scorpion energy. If you are, they have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, Jupiter, if that resonates with you. Experiments that did you have sign of cancer? Creative expression of love. Oh, okay. Well, cancer. You go through bad self. I heard a creative expression of love. Creative expression of love. So you plug it in, however that resonates. If that resonates with you, some kind of creative expression of love, my dear. Um, that could be you um, sending the creative expression of love or someone create uh, sending the creative expression of love to you. 
creative expression of love. So they're going to creatively express their love to you. Now, it doesn't, it could be platonic love. It could be um, romantic love. You plug it in, how it resonates. It doesn't have to be somebody you're in a relationship with. Um, I don't feel it's like flowers to your work. It's, I think it's more creative than that is what I'm trying to say. I heard creative for a reason. Flowers to work is like the most mundane, simple thing you can do. So I think it's something much more creative. Um, now, whether it's platonic or um, platonic or um, relationshipy, you have to play your, that, that in your life how it resonates. But whatever the crap they're, you're going to do or somebody's going to do for you, it's going to be very creative. I'll tell you that. Ace of Pentacles reverse, Ace of Wands reverse. A particular cancer is about to completely pull their energy away from a person. This person has serious addictions. Ex addict cancer. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. This resonates with you. You're an ex addict. So that could have been drugs, it could have been alcohol, it could have been sex addictions, it could have been in gambling. However that resonates, but you're ex at it um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Whoever you're dealing with here is a current addict, but you don't want to be around that BS, and I don't blame you. Who the hell wants to be around that BS? I've never been an addict today in my life. I'm not rubbing it in. I'm just telling you the truth. But I would never want to be around those kind of people um, just because that's just not my lifestyle. Um, but if this resonates with you, you congrats to you because you completely turned your lifestyle around. Um, you're not an addict anymore, whether it was drugs, alcohol, sex. Well, I was never a sex addict, but I did love to have sex. Of course, it's been like two years since I've had sex, but I did used to love have sex, but I've been single for so long, you know. Um, but married people love to have sex too, you know. Married people love to have sex just because you love to have sex. That's not doesn't make you a sex addict. It's when you have to have it all the time. That's what makes you a sex addict. Um, but you know, you don't you don't see married people going around being called sex addicts, just saying. And they have sex more than single people a lot of times, you know. Um, but anyways, um, you're about to turn it, but you're not an addict no more. You're not an addict and you don't want to be around addicts. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Um, you're gonna energetically block your energy from this person. Is I heard it's gonna piss them off. And you know. Yeah, they can get pissed if they want, but you've got to do what's best for you. So you block in the opportunity of the person because you don't want to be around addiction energy, and I don't blame you. No action taken towards the person, energetically cutting yourself off from the person because you don't want to be around addiction energy. And absolutely, man, who wants to be around that? Let's get you a tea leaf. Whoever this is, they're a current addict. Spare messages you have signed of cancer. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. Assistance is coming for one particular cancer. And a significant family court situation is about to be very significant for a cancer. Okay. I heard um, assistance is coming for a particular cancer and family court situation is about to be very significant for a particular cancer. And a particular cancer is about to get a very unexpected communication from the taxing authority regarding stolen money. Ooh. And a particular cancer is about to get significant communication from a taxing authority regarding stolen money. It's going to create very negative series of chain of events for you. Know this. Okay. I heard it's going to create very negative series of chain of events for you. Know this. So if the last one you have stolen money, um, 
it could just be one cancer in the universe, but you have stolen money. But the sounds like the taxing authority, you now whatever country you live in, some kind of taxing authority energy is about to pick up, pick up on it. And it's going to create negative series of chain of events for you. So I think you might have to, you'll probably, well, you'll have to pay it back for sure. I'm presuming for some, it might be some other kind of negative series of chain of events. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Let me see if I hear anything else. A significant conversation in a cafeteria is about to be very significant for one cancer. Public cafeteria. Okay, I heard a significant conversation in a public cafeteria. Well, cafeterias are public, so a public cafeteria is about to be very significant for one cancer. So some kind of very significant conversation in a cafeteria, public cafeteria. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you, Cancer. All right, you guys, we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. Um, if you think anyone else could benefit, share the videos. Love you guys. Namaste.